The Promise of American Life, written in 1909 by Herbert Crowley, the founder of the New Republic magazine, is a notable work of political analysis. Although Crowley's own political beliefs are largely individualistic and libertarian, the book reflects his analysis of the financial and political situation in America during his time. Crowley argued against broad unionization and government welfare, instead promoting personal responsibility to care for the less fortunate in society. While the book sold fewer than 10,000 copies during Crowley's lifetime, it had a significant influence on the policies of President Theodore Roosevelt. Crowley began his work by asserting that America lacked a strong nationalistic tradition compared to countries with longer histories. He acknowledged the democratic promise the United States offered its citizens, but emphasized that this promise wouldn't fulfill itself. He believed individuals must actively strive for a better future to achieve it. However, economic and political power disparities could hinder the nation's promise. In the book, Crowley discussed various major political movements and philosophies in American history. He contrasted founding fathers Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson, noting Hamilton's support for federal oversight and regulation and Jefferson's push for extreme individualism and limited government intervention. Crowley believed that the ideal system of government lay somewhere between the two. Crowley delved into Andrew Jackson's ideas of frontier individualism, which he saw as dangerous due to its selfish focus on individual financial gain. He also touched upon slavery and the Civil War, which divided the country into five distinct political factions. Abraham Lincoln, in Crowley's view, was the quintessential American statesman, praised for prioritizing the nation's interests and confronting the hypocrisy of slavery in a democratic nation. Following the Civil War, the United States experienced economic prosperity and the Industrial Revolution, which introduced a host of problems that persisted at the time of writing. Crowley believed that a lack of strong federal government control allowed special interest groups like lawyers, political bosses, and industrialists to flourish. He mentioned four reformers, William Jennings Bryan, William Travers Jerome, William Randolph Hearst, and Theodore Roosevelt, who sought to enact widespread political change but hadn't been particularly successful. Crowley had the most faith in Roosevelt, whom he considered a Hamiltonian at heart. He praised Roosevelt for building a team of talented individuals and stressed the importance of reformers prioritizing the nation's needs over individual glory. In the later sections of the book, Crowley defined essential terms for American political thought. He discussed democracy, emphasizing the role of government in ensuring that people have the opportunity to improve their lives without abusing their power. Crowley also defined nationalism as the willingness of citizens to put their nation's interests ahead of their own. He believed that increasing centralized power in the U.S. government, giving individuals more power to introduce legislation and have a voice, reducing corruption, nationalizing certain industries, and reforming corporate taxation were essential steps to create a strong national identity. In his conclusion, Crowley argued that education was key to his proposed reforms, enabling people to better themselves and fostering a strong national identity in the United States. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.